So hi, Florian. Hello, hi there. We are here on the uh, Bone booth, and uh, your MIDI like translator kind of software hard box has been out for a while, but you've Indeed. got some updates for us, right? That is true. So uh, it looks the same. It has a very subtle difference yeah. now. There's the MIDI logo, which is licensed only to companies that have initial or full MIDI 2 support. So um, starting with this NAM, uh, we have released a new firmware uh, with some MIDI 2 features, in particular MIDI CI Discovery and MIDI CI Property Exchange. So what's, what, what does it help? It tells other devices out there via MIDI uh, that, first of all, the bone box is there and it, you, you can query the name, you can find out like uh, the features but also the Bonebox has a special proxy feature for MIDI 2 devices to integrate older or existing MIDI 1 devices into a MIDI 2 environment. So the DAW will query the Bonebox, okay, which devices are there, and it'll first of all respond for itself, but then it'll also um, respond for devices connected to the Bonebox and say, okay, I got a Prophet here, I got a Roland keyboard here, and this is how you connect to it, these are the capabilities. And, um, well, that's uh, the main new feature. Brilliant. So, um, obviously, MIDI 2.0 has been a kind of long time coming. As a manufacturer, has it been a, a slow process for you to kind of get the specs and to get exactly, you know, to get this MIDI 2.0 badge on your device? Has right. that kind of been a long process? So, I wouldn't say it's a long process. The process of standardizing MIDI 2 had been much longer, so uh, this was just a breeze. But you have to go through a certification. It's, it's self-certification. So uh, you output uh, sort of, a, uh, there's this small tool that allows you to um, evaluate the, the features um, and like a small check if, if it actually implements MIDI 2 in, in some meaningful, meaningful way. And uh, then with the MIDI association, you will get the certification. So um, as, a, as a manufacturer, do you see MIDI 2.0 as a, as a big kind of change in, in what's coming? Are you excited about Are you excited about the, the future with right. MIDI 2.0? Right, so um, I am very excited. I've also been part of the standardization uh, and the MIDI association. But I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a big change, like from now on everything, the, the whole world is different. Uh, but it's a gradual process, uh, like we see here in the bone box. Uh, the, these are just some initial MIDI 2 features, and there's uh, yet a lot more to come. But every little step is already uh, a step in the right direction and adds more uh, features that users actually can use and uh, will simplify their life for studio setup, for for live performance, and um, yeah, there's still more to come. So it's a, it's a gradual process. And it's all backwards compatible, so you don't have um, the need to throw out any of your existing gear. So uh, yes, it's, it's a big change, but a long-term big change. <laughs> good, good. Um, so I, I don't remember if you said, I'm sorry, but is, 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 these, is this kind of update ready now for users of the bone box? Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm uh, displaying it here and showing it in, in action. And it will be online on, on the website as a firmware download in, in the next days. And just so that, um, just for anybody who doesn't already own a boombox or a bone box or who, who doesn't know how much they are, what is the kind of price and wh where yes, can they get Yes, thanks for them? asking. So unfortunately we had to rise uh, raise prices uh, a little bit. So uh, in the US it retails now for 249. Really? In, in Europe uh, it's 225 euros. Okay, yes. Excellent. Well, Florian, thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for having me. <laughs>